46-year-old disabled veteran, and I live in the Tampa community. I am a T10-12 spinal cord injury, so that gives me paralysis from about the waist down. The biggest challenges I face are definitely accessibility challenges. Doing and, and uh, returning to you know, normal activities that most of us would take for granted. Thanks to the ADA, I feel like I'm included in everyday life. I feel like I can do the things that uh, every American wants to do during the day, whether that be going to the shopping mall or going to the park or playing tennis or, you know, swimming at uh, one of Tampa's pools. I swim a lot. It matters a lot to me that, that, like, the changing room is accessible, the restrooms are accessible, there's either a lift or, you know, the pool itself is accessible. Now we're talking. It's a great group of people and we have a great time. We provide all the equipment, which I think is a big part of our program. We even provide uh, sports chairs for the athletes to use. We provide tennis rackets and tennis balls if the athlete needs it. Get there, Ron. Nice. Think of it like as if one of their loved ones was had a disability, especially one that limits mobility, right? Like, uh, you know, someone confined to a wheelchair and or walker or assistive, assistive devices because it, you know, just something as simple as, as three steps going into a business can, can make or break me, right? Like I can go out with my friends at night and if we're like, oh, we're going to this place, but I see it's got three or four stairs, that just automatically, and people are always like, well, I'll help you. But I'm like, I don't, I just kind of want to do it. I don't, I don't want to have to have somebody help me. So yeah, I would, I would tell a business owner just to think of it if they themselves or a loved one was, was had a disability and, and uh, you know, what kind of access would you like to see them have?